So this is the digital interface for the Sapphire Control Pro. Right off the bat, right at the top, we have our eight input channels. These are the XLRs coming in. Now you can link them together to stereo channels if you're recording a stereo source. You also have a solo and a mute for each channel. Um, if you're using some of the ADAT inputs or SPDIF, you can click on these tabs to access them, but they're unaccessible unless you actually have something plugged in and it'll read it and then you can access that information. So that's pretty straightforward. Over on the right hand we have our, our outputs as they're assigned 1 and 2 which is your monitor outs and um, each, each uh, output has these various controls. You have a, a dim which will reduce the level a significant amount. A dim is kind of like a, an extreme pad, so to speak. Um, a mute, a solo for each one. And then you also have an H, which is hardware control. When you click the H, the knob on the actual hardware will control the knob in the software, uh, which is very convenient for mixing and monitoring. And uh, you know if you need to boost the level or something like that, and you can do that for any one of these output channels. Um, 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 are designated for the two headphone outputs, so you can make your own um, levels there, also using the hardware just by clicking the H. And then if we move over here to the left, lower left side, we have our phantom power options. You can store and load presets um, that you make, like if you set up a session with, say, 16 channels or something, and you get everything tweaked to just the right levels, you can actually store that information so that you can bring it up later anytime you're tracking a, a session. That'll save you a lot of time and money in the long run. Uh, MIDI through options, pretty s standard. Um, over here we have S card and track. These are two presets. One, S card basically lines up all your inputs and outputs as one through 10, one, or one through eight inputs, one through eight outputs, real straight ahead. And then track automatically selects your outputs to your computer to your outputs um, on the Sapphire so you can quickly access that uh, routing. And that's pretty much it. There's some other options out here, obviously your, uh, your sampling rate and um, you know how you can sync up the various, uh, with your word clock and stuff like that. All those options are on here. And uh, I've used some of uh, Focusrite's other, other products like the, uh, the Sapphire LE and its interface, and I actually find this interface a lot easier to use than that one. It's a little bit more intuitive. And so far it works really good. The only thing you got to keep in mind is if you're going to use these H or hardware controls, you have to keep this window open. If you close the window, the hardware options are not going to run. But that's the interface, and uh, thanks for watching.